So in this video, we're going to talk about the nomenclature of ketones and aldehydes. Okay, and we generally define ketones, uh, you know, generally define ketones as some R with a carbonyl that's bonded to an R prime, another R group. Okay, and so these are ketones, and we generally define aldehydes as some R bonded to carbonyl and DH. Okay, now what would we name this? What is the, the IUPAT name? Well, I have one, two, three. So my longest carbon chain is three. So this is, uh, so this is propanone. So usually we say if, an, if it's an alkane, we say propa, propane, but because we have this ketone here or this carbonyl group states propanone. Now, where is the carbonyl group located on? Carbon two. So this is two propanone. Okay, and well, we know the common name for this is acetone. Okay. Now, what about this one? Okay, what would we name this ketone? Well, again, look at our longest continuous carbon chain. Now, we always want to give the nearing, the, 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 the carbonyl, the lowest number possible. So, we could come from here, we could come from here, but we're going to start from here. So, this is one, two, three, four. So, our longest chain is butane. But again, because we're dealing with ketones, it's butanone. Now, where is it located on? Carbon two. So this is two butanone. Okay. Now, the common name is you split the ketone in half and you look at what's bonded on either side. So it looks to me that I have a ethyl group here, one, two. I have a methyl group here. So this is uh, ethyl methyl ketone. Okay, or MEK. You usually see it written as MEK. Okay. Now, what would we name this? Okay. What would we name this compound here? Well, again, again, my cloud. My I'm going to look at my uh, uh, my longest continuous chain. So this is one, two, three, four, five. In this case, it doesn't matter where we come from. We'll still get the ketone of carbon three. So this is three pen to no. Okay. Let's look at a slightly more complicated one because these are pretty, really simple to name. So what if we're given this? Okay. What would we name this? Well, again, we got to count. We got to count. We got to count. Now, in this case, it doesn't matter where we come from. We'll still get the ketone to be on carbon three. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we know the parent chain is pentanone. Okay. We know the parent chain is pentanone. Okay. Now, what do we have on carbon two? I see a methyl. On carbon two, three, four, I see a, another methyl group. Yeah. So squishing everything down together we lesser substituents first and we say this is two four dimethyl now we got dimethyl three that's pentanone okay because we always got to give or parent uh the number okay so in this case it's three dash pentanone so again nothing 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 complicated now the commons one that you should know again we know acetone but you should know that this is a set of phenone. Okay, this is a set of phenone. Another common one is benzophenone. Yeah. This is benzophenone. And this is not including name press. I just want to throw these out. But again, this is the process of naming ketones. Now, what about aldehydes? What would we do, what would we name this? Okay. What's the what's the the IUPAT name? What's the common name? Well, again, we're gonna name we're gonna count our carbon. So I only have one carbon here. Okay, so we know this corresponds to methane, but because we're dealing with aldehydes, yeah, we're dealing with aldehydes. It's not methane, it's methanol. So my AL. So it's like an alcohol, but I'm replacing the parent, uh, the, 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 
suffix at the end is an ea okay so not methanol but methanol okay now we all know this is formaldehyde okay uses a preservant okay so formaldehyde okay now what would we name this one okay what would we name this one well again let's count our longest continuous carbon chain so this is one two so that's methane ethane so we know in terms of alkane this would be ethane but because we're dealing with aldehydes we say this is ethanol ethanol now the common name for this is acetaldehyde acetaldehyde okay now this one what about this one okay again one two three the longest chain is propanol so and we have no substituents so this is just uh, propanol. Now you're also going to give your aldehyde the lowest carbon possible. So we start from here and we say this is one, two, three. Okay. Now the common name for this is propionaldehyde. Again, the common name is not very important. Um, what we should know is how to name these uh, using the IPAC system. So let's look at a slightly more complicated one. So what if we wanted to name this? Okay, how would we name it? Well, to me, in terms of the IUPAC rank and order, an aldehyde is always ranked over an alcohol. So the parent is going to be uh, based off the aldehyde. Now, what's the longest continuous carbon chain? Start from the aldehyde. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks to me that the longest continuous chain is heptanol. Now, the only thing left is just I'm looking at my substituents. So on carbon six, I have a chloro, and the carbon three, as a substituent OH, you call it hydroxy. Hydroxy. So this is a hydroxy, okay? Hydroxy as a substituent. Okay? And then on carbon seven, we have the phenyl as a substituent. Okay? So in terms of alphabetical order, this is six chloro. Okay, three hydroxy, seven phenyl heptanol. Okay, heptanol. Let's just squish all those down together. Okay, let's look at this last one here. What if we wanted to name this? Okay, what would we name it? Well, again, I see that in terms of uh, nomenclature order, um, an aldehyde is ranked above a ketone. So my parent chain will, will be res with respect to the aldehyde. So if I'm counting with respect to the aldehyde, I don't know this is carbon one, two, three, four, five. So I have five. So the parent chain is pentanol. Okay, and then on carbon three, I see a chlorine. So this is three chloro. And carbon four, a carbonyl as a substituent is, is called an oxo. Oxo, so this is four oxo, yeah, which represents my, my carbonyl as a substituent. So if I'm looking at this in terms of alphabetical order, this is three chloro, four oxo, Pentanol. And that's it. Um, pretty much nothing difficult.